I'm about to change the game. On the listing. So this is a Orega Omae o Mamoru, or I Will Protect You. This is a 2009 uh, Metroidvania Otome game from Idea Factory. I know! That's all I know about it. All right, we need to make a character name. Roughly 1,000 years ago, there was an era of tremendous prosperity and great glory brought about by the power of the Magicite, a stone created by highly developed alchemy. The legendary civilization said to have been destroyed in a single night, Edenbar, by absorbing the forces of nature such as fire, water, earth, and air. The Magicite sustained the Edenbar civilization. Well, that sustained the Edenbar civilization was able to exert massive influence at will, a tainted power that trespassed on God's domain. Then, the people acting out of self interest abused the power without any consideration of the effect it would have on the world. As a result, the balance of the natural world crumbled. Having gone too far, the civilization was left with no other path than to its ruin. And in the present day. Kusel Bull, uh, Castle, Audience Chamber. By decree of the Archduke Kusel Bull, every knight of the duchy had arrived in that small decorative room. Yeah, I got sick of single game. Tingle Tuesday can go fuck itself. It's no longer Tingle Tuesday. The room was strangely quiet, as if their nerves had barred the sound. The knights, sworn to serve their country, couldn't help but feel uneasy about the summons, which they had no right to refuse. They were trying to avoid the gaze of the eighth archduke of Kuselbol, Estrand Kuselbol. The archduke inspected the assembly and gave a single cough as if to get their attention before opening his mouth. <laughs> As most of you are already aware, ancient ruins were recently discovered in Dorius. The ruins are said to date back to the civilization of Edinbar, believed to have been destroyed over a thousand years ago. 
10 minutes. The archaeologists sent there to investigate were wiped out. The abrupt announcement stirred up the room. The voice of a single knight cut through the noise. What exactly do you mean wiped out? It appears the ruins were discovered. Still aren't dead. Not dead. You know, I should probably. Yeah, I will probably still just read this out for now. Even now, 1,000 years since its construction, the terrifying traps laid throughout the ruins continue to work. That is to say, perhaps from the many years of neglect, the interior seems to have turned into a den of monsters. The room fell into a clamor for a second time. The men began to question the Archduke. So the reason we were summoned is, although the archaeologists are knowledgeable about the ancient civilization, they have no way of fighting back against the monsters. Therefore, I'd like you, the Knights of the Duchy, to ride for the ancient ruins, destroy the traps and monsters inside, and create a path. I see. As you wish, Your Highness. Oi, 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 oi! Did you hear that? Stop making a scene, your voice is too loud. Of course I'm gonna make a scene! An unknown ruin where traps and monsters away? So man, you can't help but be lured in. I'm lured in even though I'm not a man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Huh? Your apathy is as plain as ever. Aren't you excited? Does this make your heart start to pound? Don't misunderstand, Varys. This isn't a game, it's work. The hard-headedness of yours never changes. You there, pipe down! <laughs> Sorry. Then we shall inform you what the decision is made as to when you will depart. Until then, see to it that you make your preparations. Yes, sire! With the Archduke's speech over, the knights had gathered, well, that had gathered round began to file out of the audience Varys. chamber. Varys, we should get going too. Yeah, ancient ruins, huh? A gleeful smile spread across Varys' face as if he was having a runaway daydream. Renixis, commander of the Duchy Knights, approached the two men. Oh, that is a midriff! Varys. Varys, can't you do something about the slovenly face of yours? Oh, Captain, forgive me! No, more importantly, the Archduke wishes to speak. The two of you should stay behind. Huh? The two of you? As in us? Do you see me talking to anybody else? For real? If it's not about the ruins, then there's something else? I wonder. I haven't heard anything. Anyway. Oh, goodness gracious. Make sure you show some respect, or else I'll be the one taking the blame for it. Got it. We know, we know, Captain. Let's go, Ren. I'm not feeling reassured. So, okay. This is a game that was published by Ultimate Forte, a sister brand of Ultimate. And it's basically meant to be like an action game that's meant to be like for the ladies, TM, because it features hot guys. It features hot anime men, TM. Oh, you're here? We heard that you had something to tell us. Mm. The truth is, I'd like you to go on ahead to the ruins as an advance party. An advance party? It's dangerous. There's no telling what might happen if I blindly send men in. I hope to ward off the chance of our forces being annihilated. 
The two of you are still young, but I have heard from Ronikis that your strength comes guaranteed. Your words are too kind. You humble yourself. Will you do it? Of course, sire. Excellent. There is just one more thing. What now? If you're aware of the stone known as Magicite, said to have supported the civilization of Edinburgh's prosperity from the shadows. Even though he was puzzled by the Archduke's sudden question, Ren opened his mouth and quietly started to speak. A mysterious, sparkling blue crystal imbued with the power of the earth. Whoever possesses it will obtain powers equal to that of a god. It's a legend that has been passed down for generations, correct? It's true that there are those who will insist that it does not exist, and yet there can be no doubt that it was real. What's more, there's a chance that the stone is resting within the ancient ruins, still intact. So we are. As the advance party, the two of you shall creep into the ruins, assess the situation, and ascertain whether or not the magicite exists. And in the event that you do make a miraculous discovery, you are to secretly recover it and bring it back to me with the utmost haste. There's no need to let anyone else know about this. Understood? For what purpose would the stone be used? You need not worry about such things. Just focus on completing your mission. As you wish, your highness. As soon as we finish, well, as soon as we find the mysterious stone, we will bring it straight back to you. Mm. Then you should head to the ruins without delay. They were discovered in the Lorraine, uh, sorry, Lorraine district, close to a small village called Lyrica. Start by paying a visit to the guild in Lyrica. If you let them know that you're there to inspect the ruins by royal decree, they will see to your needs. Sire! Then we shall be on our way. Mm. I hope you will return with good news. Evil King! Hey, did you catch that? No, duh. I was stood right next to you. So we'll go be going to the ruins first. This ought to be fun. Perhaps. You really are a dull guy, you know. Still, Magicite, eh? I always thought it was just a myth. But it's still bugging me. If the Archduke gets his hands on some... Uh, what's he gonna do with it? He just told us not to worry. Whatever he wants to use it for, instead of our business. Pardon. Don't go all apathetic on me now. I mean, what if the magistrate is, if I may, the two men look around to, well, turn around to look at whoever had interrupted them. Standing there was the eldest daughter of the Archduke, Lady Elsa Cuselvo. Her girlish pretty face had a slightly solemn expression. Elsa. My, my, Lady Elsa, how do you do? Don't play stupid! I overheard you talking before. Before? Oh, uh, yeah, about us uh, going on ahead to investigate the ruins? Yes, that. So you came rushing to congratulate us on being appointed as the advance party? Well, it was only natural given our talents. Only natural. That's not it! I'm worried. Elsa? I have a bad feeling, like... Something's gonna happen to the two of you. Anyways, please rest assured, Lady Elsa. Once we finish our mission, we'll be sure to come back in one piece. Uh, yes, you're right. Yeah. It'll be okay, won't it? I should be getting back soon. Yeah, we'd better be going soon too. Right, well, we'll be off then, Elsa. Yes, but please be careful. Lyrica Village was located to the south of the Kuselbol Dukedom. It was a beautiful village with lush greenery and a gentle sea breeze that occasionally swept over the lands. 
Oh, I went to go feed the cat and we're on a whole different game now. Let's go. Yeah, we're playing Orega Omae o Mano. I'm good at words. Orega Omae o Mamoru. Or I Will Protect You, which is a 2009 Ultimate Forte game. Uh, Ultimate made a Metroidvania that got fan translated. So this is Lyrica Village? Sure is rustic, all right. Yes, yeah, character, don't you think? All right, we should stop at the guild first. Character? I guess that's one way to put it. Still, this is a village of wine growers. Lyrica wine is known to those in the know. Hey, wait a sec. Don't leave me behind. Welcome back, though, honey. The Adventurer's Guild, Lyrica Village Branch. It seemed to have become a base for those who were exploring the ruins, as it was packed full despite being located in a small village. With four singular tables and a row of counters, the small room was bustling night and day. People laughing and drinking, those stood around quietly. The adventurers were, were enjoying passing the time. Uh, when the groan of the door opening sounded the arrival of new visitors. Hi, Charnay. Oh, welcome. I'd wear that. The first person to speak was a beautiful woman step over the counter. Whoa! That lady is crazy gorgeous, right? We're after the Lyrica Village's guild. Is this the right place? Oi, so you're actually starting to ignore me now? I haven't seen your faces around here before. Judging by those outfits, I guess you're from the capital. Yeah, we're here to investigate the ancient ruins by order of the Archduke of Kuselbo. I'm Ren, one of the Duchy Knights. Likewise, I'm Varys, a knight of the dukedom. Please to make your acquaintance. Howdy, Jam. Oh, it's you? I heard the news, but I wasn't expecting you to be so young. <laughs> we get that a lot. Very solgled her, as if he hadn't already stared hard enough. I'm Charnay, the Adventurer's Guild, Lyrica Village Branch's uh, Receptionist and Guild Master. Yeah, we're doing a new game because Tingle Tuesday. No. No more Tingle. Miss Charnay, you say? What an elegant name. Why, thank you. By the way, where are these ancient ruins that were uncovered? They were discovered several months ago in a forest in the east of the village, but... Drinking some water. From the tales I've heard from the treasure hunters who went in before, it seems like it's quite the dangerous place, you know. Am I well more shingy, though? Tales I've heard from the treasure hunters who went in before, it seems like it's quite the dangerous place, you know. I probably don't want to know what happened with Tingle, do I? No, I just wasn't having a fun time, that's all. Also, hello, y'all. Sorry. We might not look the part, but we are nice. A fair point. Well then, could you write your names on these papers? As she spoke, Charnay pulled two pieces of paper out of a drawer in the counter and handed them to the men. Yes? Yes, you don't know? Before you can enter historic relics, you must register with the guild overseeing that jurisdiction. Even though you're here by order of the Archduke, there are no exceptions if you're going to enter the ruins. Register with the guild. Seriously? We're going to join the treasure hunters? 
Hesitating, Varys gave a sideways glance at Ren, who had already finished writing his name. Yeah, I won't lie, it didn't look like it'd be fun after a while. Yeah, no, it just got really, like... It tells its message very well, which is that capitalism is hell. By making a game that is actively hellish to play. It's fine, so get ready. Uh, you even give it a second thought, did you? You sure work fast. Name sign. They handed their papers back to Charnay. All present and correct. Well then, you're all set to head off to the ruins, but first, by registering with the guild, you can receive a variety of benefits to help you with your adventure. For instance... Charnay producing piles of paperwork out of nowhere threw them down onto the countertop with a heavy thud. These are requests that the guild has received about the ruins. People who have registered with the guild can accept these requests by paying a small contract fee. If you manage to fulfill the request, you'll be rewarded for your work and may even get some new information about the ruins. You may even lead to developments in your investigation. This could prove to be the key to your mission. Uh, no, this and that seem like two different things. Well, don't be so hard nosed. You might as well try accepting one for now, right? I will be at Vernal Equinox next week, yes? Red and Varys exchanged glances, staring at the mountain of requests piled in front of them. Ah, Ren! Sorry, I just remembered I was asked to see to another matter regarding our search of the ruins! Another matter? That's the first I've heard of it. It's a really important mission, so this is where we'll have to part ways. I'll leave this place to you! I'm counting on you, buddy. Holy mother of midriff, though. With those parting words, Varys left the guild in a flash. Left all alone, Charnay stared at Ren with a daring smile. Ren reluctantly picked up one of the request papers. Newbie Initiation Program. Calling all new treasure hunters who've only just registered with a guild. To get by in this line of work, you'll need strength first and foremost. Now show us what you're made of. Reward. Mint, sage, supply extract, ethanol, and more. Payment a thousand cost three hundred. I currently have three hundred. Ren signed the request and placed it next to Charnay, who was busy seeing to someone else. Then, with perfect timing, the other visitor left, and Charnay returned to check over the piece of paper. Yes, yes. Perfect. Looks like that didn't give you any trouble. No, all you have to do is fulfill the conditions. And then come back here. Piece of cake, right? Complete the request, return to the guild, and report my results. I figured as much. Don't treat me like a kid. Oh, did I hit a nerve? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, right. Almost forgot. This is for you, since you're new here. It's a map of the ruins. Well, it's actually just a piece of paper and a pen. Anyways, you walk around the ruins, you can finish it yourself. And there's also a guide published by the guild aimed at helping new treasure hunters get started. You gotta look out for yourself. Make sure you ever read through it so you don't end up regretting it later in floods of tears. When you're inside the ruins, the map will be displayed on the lower screen. The map will automatically update whenever you enter a new room. Try walking through every nook and cranny to complete it. Uh, the exploration guide it contains various bits of useful information. You can check the contents of the guide at any time by pressing the start button to call the menu and then going to your items and choosing the key category. The guide to exploring. As with anything, you need to have a firm grasp of the basics, right? Especially when it comes to suspicious men who look more like kids, wouldn't you say? Well then, time for you to head off to the ruins and complete the request. 
Yeah, I'll have it done in no time. Peeling himself away from the counter, Ren waved to Charnay and quickly made his way out of the guild. Have a good one, Andy. the ruins. to be locked. There's a large keyhole. I've killed both green gels. Oh, looks like you managed to clear that quest. Congrats. Well, then I'll give you your reward in the thank you letter you received. Uh, here, take these. You have proven yourself indeed. From now on, you can choose to take on quests as it suits you. Start from the D rank quest and make your way up. Work hard, young hunter. Having finished his first quest, Ren looked at him, the rewards he'd earned with a satisfied smile. Charnay approached him from behind the counter. Good work. So now do you understand how things run from accepting a, a request to completing it? As for what's next, you could continue doing quests, or you could just do your own thing in the ruins. You're free to do as you like. And now that I've tested your skills, I'll leave this key for the ruins in your care. If you can't get any further without this key, Varys won't be able to investigate. Don't worry, I gave one to your friend earlier. You just missed each other. I see. He said he had something else to look into, but I wonder what it was. Take care! Oh, one more thing. I spoke to the owners of the blacksmith and the item shop that we have here in Lyrica Village, so you should pop around later. You'll be needing their help for the road ahead, and you might be able to ask them for advice about your mission. The blacksmith and the item shop, huh? Alright, I'll pay them a visit later. Well, good luck with your investigation. I'll be cheering you on from behind. And with that, Charnay went back to the other person she was helping. Ren looked at his, at his rewards again. This isn't so bad, I guess. The treasure is slumbering in the ancient ruins. The band of monsters ready to attack. It was so faint that the person himself hadn't noticed the quiet throbbing of his own heart.
There we go. I wanted to uh, make sure the top of the screen wasn't... You know what? I actually still like it with it getting cropped a little bit by my little animated flowers here. Or rather, the animated ferns. See, squishy loving woman one. Green gels are so cute. That squishiness. I just want to give them a big squeeze. So I was wondering whether all green gels are equally as soft. Bring me six of them for science. Sure. Tucked away in a corner of Lyrica Village was a small shop. It was the sole smithery in the village, and various weapons lined the walls to the ceiling. There inside the store, where the sound and flame of flames and iron being struck echoed all around, Ren stood stock still. Ano. Um. Oi. Hey! Sumimasen. Excuse me! Calling out over and over again. I'm not deaf, you know. The person who finally came out was a young man in work clothes who appeared to be the owner of the store. Huh? What, it's just some kid? I'm not seeing you around here before. What are you after? I've just registered with the guild, so I was told to come and say hello. Oh? So you must be Ren. I heard the news, but you really are just a kid. Well, not that it matters. If you're gonna make money, you gotta do your job properly no matter who it's for. That's my mantra. Doesn't matter, he says. Why even bring it up? Hmm? Did you say something? No, nothing. Anyway, I'm Magnus. I own the place. Should the need arise, you can come here to forge new weapons to equip or enhance the ones you already have. Forge and enhance weapons. Yeah, forging is what makes uh, is when you make weapons from scratch, and enhancing is when you change a weapon that already exists into a different weapon. By the way, both require materials and money. Of course, the better the materials, sorry, the better the weapons, the better quality material, more money you'll need. But up there's the guild round here where you can take jobs, or you can go off and gather them on your own. To forge or strengthen weapons, I'll need raw materials and money, right? Oh, I guess you are paying attention. Sweet. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Is that small sword all you have? Yeah, it is. It's light and easy to handle. It suits me fine. As he spoke, Ren strode off the sword that he had attached to his waist. Seeing that, Lightness the blacksmith was taken aback and let a large sigh. Oh, oy, oy, that's no good. Taking a case by case of reacting to the situation around you is the best way to fight. Just give me a minute. A minute. I'll give you something good. Trust me. That said, Lagus. Uh, Lagnus disappeared into the back of the sword. What was that all about? <sighs> they haven't been used in a long time, so they're a bit dusty, but there's life in them yet. Lagnus had come out of the back, holding a sword in each hand. Here. He handed two differently shaped swords to Ren. He's it? For your first visit only. It's a special service. After this, you'll have to show your patronage, okay? <laughs> FYI, the blue ray is a medium sword, and the long sword is a big sword. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sigh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
sword size. Gotcha. Uh, it's not a big deal, but it might be good to think of this practice when you use them, at least until you get used to it. Speaking of, this is for you too. Ren placed the book into he received into the key pouch. Well, key category of this item pouch. The book has a dis detailed description of the characteristics of each main weapon category. You want to learn the differences between small swords, medium swords, and big swords? Then you ought to give it a read. Oh, I know the difference between them, trust me. Let's see. They're light and easy to handle, allowing you to make consecutive attacks. However, the attacks themselves aren't massively powerful. Not too light, not too heavy. They're balanced, easy to use swords, ideal for beginners. They're good in any situation, but have no outstanding features. Big swords. These swords have a long reach and great potential. They can perform charge attacks. There's a pause after each attack due to the weight, making consecutive attacks impossible. Oh, sorry, don't strain yourself or think too hard. It's alright to just use them however for now. Right, thank you. You're a surprisingly nice guy. That's Mr. Lagnus to you. This is why rats without manners are. Well, anyway, you should check out the store and see what we have. If you already have materials and money, you can make new weapon. We'll get to making new weapons straight away. So what will it be? Yeah, I'm leaving already. On the main street of Lyrica Village, Ren opened the door of a flashy-looking shop with the sign, "All uh, sorry, Avonk's Item Shop." A creature. Welcome! The one who greeted him was a small beast man. It looked like he was lounging about on top of the counter, but by sitting there, he was just a about able to meet Ren at eye level. Hello! Oh. Hey, Sean! Welcome on in! Welcome in, Raiders! How are you doing today? How was your stream? My mommy, I haven't seen your face before. Are you new? How was Slarpka treating you? I just registered with the guild, so I was told to come and say hello. Ah, it's like you're the new registry, right? I heard the news. I'm a bunk. Nice to meet you. Ah, likewise. So this is the item shop, right? Is there anyone else around? As you see, a bunk is the only one! This is a bunk side and shop! Oh, yes. Wow. Even though you're so tiny. My size is irrelevant! Besides! A long shop has a reputation for having a wide range of stock. If it's items you're after, we have tools and materials. If it's equipment, there's swords, knives, and accessories. If you add money, you can get whatever you want. And do you see the big pot over there? Big pot? Uh. Oh, you mean this? Ren replied, uh, pointing at the pot that was stood next to the counter. Yes, that's the one! That pot is the mixing pot. Just add materials and give it a little stir. And they'll be mixed together in the lake of a paw, giving you a new item and piece of equipment. A truly marvelous invention! Huh, <laughs> it does sound handy. But I'm a bit scared that you haven't brought up anything about the fee to use it. No, 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 there's nothing to be scared of. You can use the pot as much as you want, whatever you want, free of charge. Free of charge? In exchange! You must gather your own materials at the ruins or buy them from a bunk store! Okay? Yeah, I'll take you up on that. Sate, sate. Sate, sate. Right, I'll give you this present as a token of our friendship. 
Ren placed the uh, book he received into the key category of his bag. If it could, Bug Glitz and hints about collecting materials. It's full of really, really handy info, so make sure you look through it properly later. When you defeat uh, monsters in the ruins, they might drop tools or materials. You can figure out what kind of materials will be dropped from the monster's appearance and type. So get slaying. I, uh, I'm already slaying. You can also collect materials like grass, trees, and rocks by pressing up on the D-pad when prompted. There's a limited number of times you can visit each site. That number is reset when you return to the village. Alright, I'll take a look. Thank you. No, 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 no. It's the second deal. In exchange! Since you took the trouble coming here, you should have a look at my wares. I've assembled all sorts of essential items for exploring the ruins. Now what battle would you like? Slarpka is good. Alright, so I have to hold down the R button in order to run. It is a lot, yeah. I quite like it though. Let's see, we got ourselves Adventurer's Record 1. The ancient civilization of Edenbar is said to have been destroyed more than a thousand years ago. I now stand in the ruins built at that time. I hope to discover the history of this advanced culture believed to have been destroyed in a single night. My investigation just has just begun. I will log discoveries here. Adventurer Rush Wyman. Let's see, Barmiza Ruins, First Layer, The Inescapable Labyrinth. I love them! 
Thank you for the small bone. Oh my god. Oh wow, those do not heal much at all. Thank you for the strange fluid, my little weirdo friend. this quest though. I have, yes. There we go. Thank you for your strange fluid. Oh yeah, I need to go report to the guild. Alright, so give me my reward. The squishiness is incredible. They're so elastic. When I stretched one, it quickly snapped back to normal, but they've broken every vase in the house. I wonder if someone could come and take them away.
let's see what I can do here. Uh, welcome to Oregon Mayo Mamoru, which is an, a Metroidvania made by a uh, company more known for their Ultime games. Anime fuck boy tingle. That's just tingle. Let's be real here. There we go. So basically, this game appears to be mostly about like, all right, cool, let's explore the dungeon, get some items, craft, 
etc. Neato. Because I can only accept one quest at a time. After walking the fields every day for years, my pack has finally given in. It's a case I'm unable to leave the house. Could you get me some materials to make medicine for my lower back pain? I'm sorry for making you take the trouble to gather material for my medicine. I used the ingredients I got right away to make some. I think I'll be able to go back to work tomorrow now. Thank you for all your help. Cool, got myself some more healing items. Inside the ruins there are bones with a consciousness milling around, correct? My children heard about them and got frightened. Mr. Hunter, please get rid of them so my children can sleep soundly. Cool, we can make ethanol now. Getting ourselves some more shit. So we can go fight some more skeletons. the idea of this guy being anime fuckboy tingle. <laughs> Found a small white bone. You can't just say that everything that wants bones is tingle. Think about the pups in your life. Rotten bone. Hey, 
If it's rotten, you probably shouldn't want it. skills which I can't assign yet. Alright, so I get this flow. It works as like very much a portable game. In terms of structure. Thanks for the bone. Thanks for throwing me a bone, dude. It's a very interesting oddity of a game, you know? Yeah. 
Oh, I can assign a shortcut there. That's handy. night later is going to be fun after seeing this TBH. I mean, I actually really like Symphony of the Night. And this is just a uh, serviceable. Like this feels kind of stiff. Yeah, it's going to be very fun to contrast the two. It's such an interesting game, not gonna lie. Oh. Skill book you've got with you. Pass it here. Let's see. Ah, interesting. What is it? This book appears to date back to the ancient civilization. It seems to be about a permanent skill which allows you to perform evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers? Yes, to summarize it, by curling your body into a small ball and rolling quickly, you'll be able to pass through narrow paths with ease. It can also help you to avoid enemy attacks. Sounds kind of weird. But if you're if you come across somewhere where it's too narrow to walk through, or think an enemy is about to uh, about to strike, might be worth giving this evasive maneuver thing a shot, right? Yeah, no harm in trying. This. If you bring a book that contains information about a skill to the guild, they'll teach you about it. Only then will you be able to learn the skill. So in order to learn a skill, I have to bring the skill book back with me from the ruins, take it here to the guild, and then I can learn it. Exactly. Just remember that once you've found a book, it won't be effective immediately. Got it. Still, having to go all the way back to the exit every time I find a book is such a pain. I wouldn't worry about that. I know this, there's a tool that allows you to instantly travel from the ruins back to the village that you can use. Since I have one spare, I'll let you have it. Call it a special service for newcomers. If you need more, you can buy them at the item shop. Or if you've got all the materials, you can make one by mixing them together. And if I'm not mistaken, the recipe is fast enough power and powder and... What was that other one again? Well, anyways, I... You probably still have some ways to go before you're ready to make that. So for now, you'll have to buy them whilst you focus on learning the basics and collecting materials. Right. Thanks for your help. Oh, no need to thank me. Just be sure to see to the guild's request list, okay? Was that your motive all along? <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, more like half kidding. Now then, was there something else you wanted? Looks like you got another skill book here. How's it here? Let's see, an assigned skill called Hunter's Left Hand. Like the fist of a skilled hunter, you can deal a powerful blow to distant enemies, or so it says. In other words, it's a skill that will increase the power of knife attacks, as long as it's been assigned. If you think you might need it, why don't you try equipping it? Uh -huh. 
それじゃあ依頼主からいただいた報酬とあなた。Alright, we finished that quest, so looks like you cleared out the lost souls loitering in the ruins. Whichever in the g i r hero, you must come to ours for dinner and visit them. I know they'd be overjoyed. If something happens, I hope we can count on you again. She's got some tits. Recipes. Now let's、uh, go into our equipment and skills. Let's see, assign. We'll assign the hunter's left hand for now. Why not? Try these out. Go back into the ruins. <laughs> These are you, though, Cap. What the fuck? Thank you for being cool. This is better than Tingle Game. Also, yes, main character. Yeah, my file name is Jort. <laughs> Because, of course, it is. Why wouldn't it be? Owl. Is this great? It's so rare I see a game I have literally never seen before. Oh my god. Hell yes. Well, welcome to Origao Mayo Mamoru. This is fascinating. Otome Forte. 
made this. And this is... Fez! Hi! Hi! Uh, Otome Forte, uh, is it, well, was an offshoot of Otome, as in the, uh, Otome game developers. Let me see what happens when you die. Welcome home! Yeah, we have Castlevania at home today! This game is utterly baffling in terms of its existence. Also, like, look at this character's fucking midriff! This is a fucking weird title. Like, the fact that it's developed by Ultimate Forte as a game to try to, like, get people who are primarily into, you know, Ultimate games into non-visual novel format titles. I have no idea if Ultimate Forte ever did anything other than this. Sister brand Otome aimed to move away from the typical romantic interactive novel genre into a much wider range of games for girls. They made two games, Orega Omae o Mamoru and Date ni Gemu Suiwake Janai. Date ni Gemu Suiwake Janai. Dungeon Maker Girls Type. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Or is it Gamesu? Dungeon Maker is a fucking time. But also, goddamn. Welcome to Castlevania. Welcome to Metroidvania at home. Also known as Metroidvania for the women. Do you have women in your life? Chances are... This is a video game that you can show them and they'll be like, Wow, that's what we call a video game. Why are you showing me this again? The marketing said you'd like it. It features anime men's. Showing their whole chest. Finally, a third thing I can do outside of eating hot chip and lying. Oh, do you mean uh, the third thing that we all do, which is be bisexual? And the fourth thing that we do, which is look at they phone? Hi, okay. Tazara, welcome! I do all these things. <laughs> Hi, Karma, welcome! Hey girl, hey! You stop that moth! This is hot girl shit!
Oh my god, this is hot girl shit. We Look at that dodge roll. Dodge rolls for girls. glad that like I'm at least finally playing this because like this is the so facts for those of you who haven't been watching me forever uh, back in like mid 2020 I had this small little thing I was attempting to do for a little bit called Otel Mondays where on Mondays I was reading Otome games on stream Maybe there are a few routes of one particularly not good one. Before I was like, I need to stop waking up early on a Monday. Uh, yeah, I have a love of Ultima games because they're just like trashy romance novels usually. Gel didn't react. It didn't seem like that was about to change anytime soon, so when left. Okie dokie. Fucking bats. You ever just look for bugs? Oh, you ever just run away, actually, from combat? Uh, that's exactly what I'm doing now. Uh... got a skill book here and a sign skill called timing you'll be able to keep up your opponent uh, without missing the mark or so it says in other words it's a skill that will increase the accuracy of your attacks as long as it's been assigned
this is certainly not the best game I've ever played, but it's actually kind of fun. Y'all, I just saw a message on Blue Sky that warmed my heart, which is like, I I was complimenting an artist I had commissioned in the past, just like, because their art is just so fucking good. And they were just like, oh my, like, thank you. The commission I did for you a while ago is still one of my favorites. I, I don't know how I popped off so hard back then. And I'm like, Losing my mind because it's also one of my favorite pieces that I've gotten. Well, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Can't show that on stream. Oh my god, whoa, that's huge. There she is. The artist here is Fire Fluffers. Foof did such a good job. Like, look at this piece! Holy fucking shit! All right, friends, we have hit the three hour mark of the stream. I do want to play this game more, so we'll probably pick it up after we finish Rhythm Thief. In the meantime, though, let's get ourselves to our end card and find ourselves a our raid target. God, thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, Theo, for giving me our raid message tonight. We're gonna go uh, hang out with a few of our lovely friends, though. Uh, Spoonie and Redacted are streaming Silent Hill 3 right now.
And afterwards, you know, I'm also gonna be watching Reed later, so I'm just gonna give her a shout out anyway. So let's uh, throw all of y'all at Redacted, who is a great friend. I'm gonna see them next week. So stoked for this. But thank you so much for tuning in, y'all. This has been fun. Uh, I'll be back next week with more Rhythm Thief. And if we finish that in record time, we're going back to this. Origao Mayo Mamoru, or I Will Protect You. I really want to show off this game because nobody knows about this. It has eight followers on Twitch. Eight. But thank you all. I'll be back on Saturday for more Leg of Leg. Sunday, I will be playing some Ender Lilies with Amy. Monday will be more Wiki Party Animals. And then I'll be playing some Rhythm Thief. And then I'll be taking the weekend off because I'll be at Vernal Equinox. But the CAC Cafe may be closed for today. Always welcoming you back again another day. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.